Continuing to episode 9, Runan declared herself as a committee member for the school festival. Soon after, Akari volunteered as well. Akari then looked towards Nekoru, hoping she would join too, but Nekoru declined, citing her numerous part-time jobs. Upon hearing this, Akari immediately pointed to Riwudo, who was taken aback. However, Nikoru and Runa looked at him with smiles. Reluctantly, Riudo agreed to be part of the committee. The teacher then stated that they needed one more person, and Ichi seemed hesitant, as he actually wanted to join the committee to get closer to Akari. Without hesitation, Riudo mentioned Ichi's name, and Ichi stood up. He reluctantly declared himself a committee member, and the teacher approved. Finally, the entire committee gathered to assign tasks. Akari complained because Runa and Ryudo were assigned to the pamphlet team, while Akari wanted them to be on her team with Ichi, making it complete like the survival game team they formed yesterday. Elsewhere, Ryudo looked puzzled because he, Runa, and Maria were in the same team to discuss pamphlets. But he believed this was the beginning of a plan to make friends. The three of them sat at a table, but everything seemed awkward. On the table, there were pamphlets from previous events as their reference. The theme for this event was for the future. Seeing the theme, Runa asked Maria what she currently enjoys. Maria said she likes watching videos. Runa then asked if Maria had seen the new Bareko dance because it was more interesting than Yuri Ruffy. Maria looked confused, not understanding what Runa just said. As they both seemed awkward, Ryudo tried to ask Maria about the videos she usually watches. Maria replied that she enjoys watching live game broadcasts. Ryudo became enthusiastic and asked about KN, his favorite game streamer. It turns out, Maria knew about KN, and Ryudo proceeded to ask and share some things about Ken and the games he plays. Maria responded to the conversation. Now, it was Runa's turn to be confused, not knowing what they were talking about. After the meeting, Ryudo looked very confused about how to make Runa and Maria become closer. Then Shugo approached him, and they chatted at a ramen shop. Riwudo shared the current situation he was facing and asked for Shugo's opinion since he was one of the popular guys in their senior high school. Shugo agreed, mentioning that he often hung out with girls during high school, delaying his college entrance. When he first entered senior high school, he became instantly popular, causing him to become conceited. He showed Riwudo a photo from when he won the regional table tennis championship in junior high school, looking quite nerdy. At that time, he focused on one field, and only one girl called him cool. After graduating, they briefly dated and Shugo changed his hairstyle following her advice, making him popular. Shugo said he didn't cheat, but according to his ex-girlfriend, he was a bad person. The next day, the school festival committee held their respective meetings. In the pamphlet team, they were discussing the overall concept of the pamphlet design. Runa had brought a sample design she liked, themed with cheerfulness, featuring pink and glitter. Maria disagreed, stating that the cultural festival wasn't just for girls, proposing a design that should feel mature and future-oriented. Runa responded, mentioning they were still in senior high school and the future should sparkle. They both then asked for Ryudo's opinion. In his heart, Ryudo actually preferred Maria's proposed design concept, but he was afraid of hurting Runa's feelings. So, Ryudo said he couldn't give his opinion, yet as he hadn't imagined anything. Ryudo then reported this to his teacher, stating the conflicting opinions of Runa and Maria. The teacher felt worried as the printing schedule needed to be arranged and decided as soon as possible. On the way home, Ryudo continued pondering on this matter, to the extent that he forgot to stop at his usual station. When he got off the train, Ryudo was surprised to see Maria approaching him. Maria said she had just finished her tutoring, and they waited for the train together. Ryudo and Maria looked very awkward around each other. When Ryudo asked about Maria's home, she shared that she had to move again to her current residence after her mother's divorce. Then Maria explained why she chose the same school as Runa. She actually harbored resentment towards Runa because only she had a stable life with her father, while Maria had to endure a difficult life, even changing her family name. However, she wanted to make Runa happy. Maria often spoke ill of Runa, but deep down, she wanted to be spoiled, and Runa would surely forgive her. She would continue to cherish her. Maria knew Runa loved surprises, thinking she would be shocked and happy when she entered her classroom. However, when Runa saw her, she looked confused. Therefore, Maria decided to spread negative rumors about Runa. 
Maria also decided not to reveal that she was Runa's sister during their introduction to the class, so now she felt she could be herself. Hearing this, Ryudo now realized that Runa and Maria actually loved each other. When they reached the destination station, they walked, and accidentally, Ryudo dropped his bag, causing his books to scatter. Maria, who saw it, tried to help Ryudo by picking up his books. Holding Ryudo's tutoring book, Ryudo was surprised because he didn't want Maria to know that they had the same tutoring place. But with a smile, Maria said she already knew. Maria then left Ryudo and headed out of the station. While walking, Maria muttered that Ryudo didn't need to secretly avoid her, just keep a distance. That night, Ryudo and Runa exchanged messages on their phones. Runa mentioned that she and Maria have always had different tastes, completely opposite. Even when Runa gave her earrings, Maria's reaction seemed very awkward. In his heart, Ryudo said that Maria actually wanted to be close to Runa too, but she found it difficult to express her feelings. The next morning, the students were competing in the sports festival. Runa was seen participating in a running race, and when she was about to be overtaken by her opponent, Ryudo cheered her on, leading her to win the race. Other students were also engaged in various competitions held. Runa's next competition was the item borrowing race, a competition that relied not only on speed, but also on luck. When Runa picked up her test paper, she read it and then called Ryudo. Ryudo was actually confused, but Nekoru pushed him from behind, and he finally ran with Runa towards the finish line, winning the competition. Ryudo praised Runa for winning many competitions, but Runa also thanked Ryudo for his support, giving her the spirit to win. Runa then showed the lottery paper she received, stating that she had to bring a loved one during the item borrowing race. Elsewhere, the cheerleader team was getting ready. Akari saw Maria wearing her cheerleader uniform and was amazed at how beautiful Maria looked with her slim arms and long legs. Akari was delighted that Maria joined the cheerleader team and encouraged her. They both walked out of the class, and Maria mentioned that her mother would come to the school sports festival. While chatting, Maria suddenly stopped and fell silent. Akari was confused, then she saw Maria looking towards an adult woman who was talking to Runa. Maria said that she left something behind and apologized, leaving Akari. However, she promised to come back when the cheerleading contest started. The scene then shifted to Runa talking to an adult woman, who turned out to be her biological mother, and of course, Maria's biological mother as well. Runa proudly told her mother that she had just won her competition. Runa's mother felt proud of her and then asked about Maria. Runa also didn't know where Maria was, so she decided to leave and ran to find Maria. Ryuudo also followed Runa to search for Maria. The two of them split up to look for her. From the rooftop, Maria looked down at the schoolyard where the sports festival was taking place. Ryuudo ran towards the rooftop and found Maria there. He informed Maria that her mother had arrived. Maria said that she already knew and explained that she was the one who gave her the announcement sheet, asking her mother to come. She also knew that her mother came to support her, but instead, she was chatting with Runa. Maria was puzzled about what to do because none of their school friends knew that they were siblings. Her mother also thought they were close at school. She didn't want her mother to know that their relationship wasn't close because Maria had done something wrong. With a hint of anger, Maria told Ryudo to just leave, as he shouldn't care about it. Ryudo disagreed, and Maria assumed Ryudo was helping her because he was Runa's younger brother. Ryudo agreed, stating that Maria was also his classmate. Maria then revealed her feelings, confessing that she still loved Ryudo and didn't want him to make her fall in love even more. Therefore, Maria told Ryudo to just leave and not be kind to her. From behind the rooftop door, Runa listened to the entire conversation. She could only stay silent and shocked by what she heard. Maria continued, saying that it was just her feelings and she had the right to choose whom to love because her feelings were her own. Ryudo could only remain silent, while Runa walked down the stairs, leaving the two of them still on the rooftop. Later in the afternoon, Ryudo, Runa, and Maria were in a room to discuss the pamphlet they would use. They were accompanied by a teacher and a designer. The designer had created two designs based on their suggestions. One pamphlet had a bright and pink theme, while the other had a modern and futuristic theme with monotone colors. Runa admired the sample designs, especially the pink one, as it looked very appealing. Maria then said that the pink pamphlet design was only suitable for Runa, while the other one with monotone colors would be preferred by many because it looked more elegant. The teacher mentioned that both designs looked good, 
but they had to decide today due to the lack of time. The designer expressed that if he were a senior high school student, he would choose the pink pamphlet because it looked lively. However, thinking about boys and parents of students, the monotone color pamphlet would be more suitable. The teacher then pointed to Ryudo to choose as he represented the male students. Ryudo was obviously very confused. Following his heart's choice, he would prefer the monotone design, just like Maria, but he didn't want to hurt Runa's feelings. Hesitatingly, Ryudo said that the vibrant pink design would be more suitable for this theme. Feeling Ryudo's hesitation, Runa told him to speak the truth. She didn't want Ryudo to be a liar. The teacher also told Ryudo to express his honest opinion. Hearing that, Ryudo then truthfully said that he actually preferred the pamphlet design with monotone colors, the same as Maria's choice, contrary to Runa's choice.